دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر السحرة ومن شايعهم ومن ناصرهم الله الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى والدين الحق ليذر على دينه كله وكفى بالله شهيدا وشهدا لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد الله رب العزة سيزن ذا قرآن أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم واتبعوا ما تتل شاطين على ملك سليمان وما كفر سليمان ولكن شاطين كفروا يعلمون الناس السحر الشيطان is the one who teaches the people سحر it begins by who was in the verge to become a ساحر and Allah has saved him. He narrates. He says. There's a jinni called Rashi. This jinni called Rashi. He does not. I repeat. Come out at all. He only comes out. When he teaches. The people. Seher. This brother was an Algerian brother. He says, my father was a magician and my father, he instructed me when he is going to die to do this. So he gave me a map, an exact map where to go and to meet this Rashi. Now, he says, I've saved and saved and saved until I have at least $1,700 for the trip to go and meet Rashi. And Rashi, you can find him in the mountains in India. He says, I've taken a flight, gone. Taken the location, went all the way in that where to find Rashi. But my father gave me more instructions that when I'm there, I should stay there and I should not drink milk and I should not eat dates. Subhanallah. There is a reason behind it. The shatun are afraid of dates and they are afraid of milk. And he says, every time the sun pops up, there's some certain words you utter. And you utter these words and do not eat for nine days. And the boy took the task. The man took the task. And went. Now he's there. Wanting to meet Rashi. The jinni. The one who teaches shaitan. Who teaches people magic. He sits there the first day. The second day. The third day. The eighth day. On the ninth day. He was so hungry and the food started to taste like a pig uh, meat. And then he says, I fell to sleep. I had a dream of two massive pots. One on the right, one on the left. The one on the right, they were cooking nice meat and nice food there. Very nice looking food. And men and women hugging each other and holding their hand. Every man has a woman holding the hand and the women are properly dressed, covered fully and the men look nice with the beard. But the pot on the left, I see ugly woman, ugly, dirty, naked woman and cooking pig, monkey, donkey, food with full of blood and everything. And they are passing each other, picking and passing each other to each, to each other to eat very dirty food. And in the dream, I started thinking, who are these people? But for surely, the people on the right look absolutely right. And the people on the left look very bad and dirty people. It's disgusting. 
in the vision and he passed by and he saw a donkey and he caught the belly of the donkey went inside and covered himself and he jumped from the sleep when he jumped from the sleep he saw a massive man standing in front of him with a baboon skin on top of him with shackles and he says i'm on your service i need to help you how can i help mention anything you need i will help you but with condition and he told him what conditions he said the condition is first that you are dead before becoming who he was he killed your brother your younger brother look at it look at the shaitan man how he manipulates and he said for you to become where what your dad has reached you have to take your son down and he said don't go there please i say are you disobeying me the shaitan is telling the algerian man and he goes and says and it's so and so soon you take him down meaning you kill him and he said please don't mention that and that the brother narrate he says that was the most beloved son to me he says until you do that then we will take you to the highest level we giving you 3 weeks to bring him here the brother goes back to algeria he goes back and thoughts are overwhelming him when he reaches home and sits his wife started recognizing difference from him and he says my husband was going on you travel and you come back so much worried man you know normal you know the same anymore what's happening and straight away the boy enters home the one which was instructed by shaitan to take his life the minute he enters daddy. and say baba 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 i'm here daddy abi i'm here abi i'm here and then suddenly there is a massive tawiz which was hanged and he fell down and boy said bismillah and he start reading quran a boy of 7 to 8 years old to 9 years a young boy and the father was feeling agitated the boy reading the quran and the boy left the mother took him out and the boy asked mom what's happening to dad he just read a little bit of quran and he doesn't like it and every time i read the quran he doesn't like it The mother says don't worry your father your father is a bit stressed up and frustrated day by day the first week finished the second week is going by he's thinking what do i need to do i don't know to and he decided he told the boy i'm going to take you to, to traveling with me we're going for travel the boy start shouting oh i'm going but i'm going with my dad i'm going with my dad i'm going i'm traveling with my dad the mother comes back and say where are you taking him where are you going with him i don't know he just know he said i'm just taking him i'm bringing him back don't worry i'll come back with him and they prepare pom travel to go and meet ghashi la'natullah al-ghashi they reach the place when they reach the place the boy starts getting scared he said baba what's this place daddy what is this place this place looks very strange this place dada what's this we've never even prayed the whole day daddy what's going on i need to pray i need to pray and then a voice comes to him to the dad and say listen you are not praying your qibla is towards me your salah is towards me do not pray and the man told his son just relax 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 and then the boy because he was tired the june and everything he went and sleep and then woke up when he woke up he was instructed 
by the shayateen because the boy had a strong fitra, has iman and everything. We need to remove the iman. So they, they were, there was there's a way to remove the iman from the boy. So they instructed the father to give the boy alcohol to drink. The first step and the second step is to give him pig pig meat to eat so he removes the barrier which the boy had so the he gave the boy drink he told him though boy this is to drink have it his own son man look at that he sacrificed his own son to get closer to the devil he gave the alcohol to the son and the son young don't know anything naive and everything he took, he said, Bismillah. He take a sip and he start feeling headache. He said, Baba, I'm feeling headache. Daddy, I'm feeling headache. I don't want it. I don't want it. Just keep it. And he goes to sleep. He goes to sleep. The shatin insisted when he wakes up, give him the pig meat. Because pig, what he does is that he takes the ghira, the jealousy out. And the iman disappears. Allah knows best. So the boy wakes up. And he starts saying, Baba, 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 I'm, Baba, I'm not feeling Daddy. well. Baba, I need to read the Quran. Daddy, I need to read the Quran. And this boy was well educated in the Quran. So he memorized from Surah Al Qadr all the way to Fatiha. The dad took the pygmy to give the boy. The boy said, No, Dad, I'm not having it. I don't want it. I don't want it, Dad. I don't want it. The instruction is to remove the iman and everything and easily to destroy the boy. To destroy the boy. Ask Allah to protect our children. The boy refused to eat the pig meat and he started reading the Quran. He was right in the middle of the forest and mountain and caves and he started reading the Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين and straight away saw his father been lifted and thrown that's it and the father come back and get up and he says soon carry on reading carry on reading carry on reading and he started reading the boy, started reading the boy. And when he started, when he reached Surah to Zilzal, everything was shaking there. The shiatun who were there, they all fled. The boy is reading, but it is terrified, according to the, the man who wanted to become a magician, narrates. He's getting terrified. The shiatun are all fleeing from there. And suddenly, they see a man with a light beard and full white cloth coming, appearing, wanting to help the boy. And the boy keeps on reading and reading and reading. And they manage to flee there with the help of that man. They flee there. The question stayed in their mind, who was that man? And Allah knows best if it was an angel or what. The shayateen on that area fled because of one boy. The boy has he had an iman and Allah has preserved that boy because of the memorization of the little Quran he knew and the love of the Quran. He read shayateen, I repeat, fled from there. When he reached Surah to Zilzal, it was too much for them. And he قُلْ يَا أَيُّ الْكَافِرُونَ And he left everything there. There was no Rashi to be seen. There was no Rashi voice. Their plot went back to them. إِنَّهُمْ يَكِيدُونَ كَيْدَ وَأَكِيدُ كَيْدَ Allah says, they plot, but I am the great planner. The boy and the father left back to Algeria and the man repented now the man now at this moment I'm talking is Al-Hafidh Al-Quran 
all his children a half of the Quran, Allah has preserved him from the filthy road he was going to take. And the boys always say to their dad, Oh dad, let's make dua for our jiddi, our grandfather. And he says, no, your grandfather died upon kufr because he knew. And he said, your grandfather killed your own um, you my brother, just to become closer to the devil. If you have any story you want me to narrate, send me with full details through the email. Inshallah. Stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Rocket Talk. Wa akhiru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursalin. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyan lahum annahu al-haq.